How you doing? It's your boy Brogan Ark, and uh, I'm here to talk about this recent development going on with uh, Superman and Warner Brothers and their fuckery. So, well, about a day ago, it was a, it was confirmed, or at least it was announced, that uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates is writing a Superman reboot for uh, Warner Brothers and DC, which is being produced by J.J. Abrams' uh, company, Bad Robot, and. Uh, this was a shock to some because everyone was hoping that Henry Cavill would still be around as Superman, which they haven't confirmed that he's not at this point. He's technically still Superman, but they're rebooting everything. Uh, as a friend of mine pointed out, it's kind of interesting that they spent $70 million to help finish up the Snyder Cut just to wash it away, uh, which, yeah, uh, they definitely don't want to do that stuff anymore. But um, now the, the interesting thing about it is that Ta-Nehisi Coates, if you don't know who he is, he's a writer, journalist, he's written essays, uh, he's a black man, and he tends to write a lot of things focusing on black topics. So in this article, the Deadline article didn't immediately say that he was writing a black Superman, but I think it was Hollywood Reporter has hinted that that's kind of the direction they want to go with. So of course people... Some people are freaking out about that. Some people are losing their minds about that. Some people are upset about that. I'm not necessarily upset about it. I, I don't think it's a good idea because the majority of people wanted a Henry Cavill Superman movie. That's the thing people wanted. I'm not one of those people. I would have liked him to get a second movie just as long as you know Snyder wasn't involved. And I mean, that's where the majority of the people want is Henry Cavill to get another shot at Superman because it's been so murky. Um, you know, he had the one movie, then he had the BBS movie, which they cut out most of his scenes. And then, of course, the Justice League debacle with the mustache and all of that. So people really are behind Henry Cavill. He's done better in other things, you know, with the, you know, the uh, Mission Impossible 6. Uh, he's got the, uh, the, the Witcher stuff going on. Uh, people, like I said, people really dig him as Superman, and I think it's kind of weird that Warner Brothers isn't trying to capitalize on that. And there's been some talks and some rumors. I know um, Grace Randolph is the main one who's been saying from her sources that Cavill seems to be hard to work with. That's possible. It, it would, I, you know, I don't know. I don't work on the set with the man. It's possible though. That would make you know. And Warner Brothers is wanting to get past all this, most of the Snyder stuff. Um, so yeah, it's gonna suck. I made a video about this a couple years ago when it was hinted again that Cavill might be gone as Superman. And it seems like that's going to be official. Now, my biggest problem um, is not the whole black Superman thing, because that's been rumored since, really since what, Black Panther came out. Uh, there was rumors that uh, Michael B. Jordan was in talks to potentially play a black Superman and everyone lost their minds there. I didn't think it was that serious because it's like they were just talking to Michael B. Jordan because they just signed a he just signed a deal with Warner Brothers. He's a popular actor. Why not talk to the man? Sort of, sort of similar to what happened with um, Mahershala Ali and the whole Joel um, Last of Us thing. Was they were just talking to the guy, not necessarily meaning he was going to do the role. And I kind of took it as that. But now that we got, you know, Tiny He's a Coach, we got these rumors that they're trying to do a black Superman. Seems like they want to do it. And my biggest problem is DC has black characters. Just fucking use them. I don't see the point of them taking a established character who can be any race, granted, but it's like you have black characters do something like pet that energy with the actual black characters. You know, you you you, you announce you're doing all this milestone stuff. Pet your energy there if you want to do something with actual black characters, please. That would just make sense. You know, you got your static shocks. You got Icon, who is a black sort of black Superman character. Do something with him. Make him. Elevate that character, you know. It wasn't. It's just. It's ridiculous. And Warner Brothers has a problem with they keep doing this, where they take certain characters and change them for no real reason. Like the only one I can really get behind is um, Elgis Hodge as Hawkman, because it's like it would be ridiculous for them to have a white guy playing an ancient Egyptian prince. Like that would just be fucking dumb. So I, I get that one. Other ones they've done I didn't think were good. Although Journey Smollett as Black Canary actually worked out. Besides how you feel about the entire film, she did she did good in that role. But it's like, just focus on the actual black characters you have and build them up as opposed to changing everything. 
and then, and the other big problem I have with this that I don't see a lot of people talking about yet is the whole J.J. Abrams of it all. J.J. Abrams, I don't want him involved in any fucking franchise that I love because he's gonna fuck it up. Because he's he's had a track record. He did it with Star Trek. He did one really good movie, and then it went straight to shit by the sequel. He did it with Star Wars. He did one decent movie. Force Awakens made a lot of money, and then it went straight to shit after that. And then tried to fix it with uh, the rise of was it the rise of Skywalker. Garbage. He he has good ideas. He can start a franchise, but he just he'll build it up and then let the bitch fall. And that's exactly what's going to happen with Superman. His Superman movie, if he directs it, they haven't said he's directing. It's just his company's producing it, but I think it's more than likely he's going to direct it. He's just gonna do what he did with Star Wars and what he did with Star Trek. He's gonna take, he's gonna do basically he's gonna do a better version of Superman Returns, where it's gonna feel like the Richard Donner films, but it's gonna be a little more action packed, a little more modern, but it's gonna have that wholesome feel. If the story's probably gonna be something similar to something that's already been done. He's just gonna change it a little bit. He's gonna make a lot of money, and then by the sequel, it's just gonna be bullshit. Just nothing else after that. And I don't want that to happen with Superman. I don't want Superman to have another failed franchise. And if you're like, well, the Snyder Snyder's movies didn't fail. Uh, did they make a Man of Steel too? No, they didn't. So it, it it no, it was not. They did not put money into that franchise. They dropped it after fucking Justice League. So yeah, not good. And I'm just I don't want this to keep happening to Superman. I love the Superman character. Just God damn it, just no. Abrams is not the answer. And I know he's working on some Justice League dark stuff, which. We'll see how that goes. I'm not too excited about that. Maybe he'll do something interesting with that. I don't know. I'm not that big into Just League Dark. But I'm, I'm not feeling this at all. Um, now, the other thing is, doing a black Superman, are they going to create a new character and just have him be black and call him Superman? Or are they going to do Clark Kent, but he's black? And I know some people in certain articles have been talking about the Calvin Ellis Superman, which is, uh, I think he was created by Grant Morrison. He's a Superman from another multiverse, because that's the big thing that DC is trying to hammer home is the multiverse. Um, he's like a Superman from another Earth where he's a black guy. He's Superman, but he's also the president. He's kind of like Superman and Barack Obama kind of fused together. They could go that route. Um, that's going to be more of an original story, because it's not that much done with the character. He was more like a minor character. There's the Val Zod character, who's my, in terms of black Superman, he's my favorite. Um... I don't think they're doing that because his whole story is really involved in the um, Earth 2 uh, JSA stuff, which they're already introduced in the JSA in the Adam, I mean, the Black Adam movie. So I don't see them then combining that with the Valzad stuff. Maybe they will. I don't know. I would prefer more of a Valzad because there's more material for you to mine. He's a good character. He's the son of a different version of Zod, but he's like super smart crash landed on earth but didn't know he was kryptonian he was hidden away for most of his life in like a cell and he just made tech for people um some of that tech was used to lead to the death of superman and then he has to once he finds out he's kryptonian he decides to live in the mantle of superman he's a really good character but you should check out the earth 2 uh new 52 stuff um so if they're just going to do clock Kent but make him black i'm not i'm not feeling that i think that's kind of lazy um, and people who are excited about this, you're still going to have a white Lois Lane. So if you're fine with that, I mean, I, I, whatever, you're still going to have white Lois Lane. You're still probably going to have white Lana Lane. So it's like, what's the point? Just fucking do Icon, pet your energy in Static Shock. Um, and God damn it, stop giving J.J. Abrams established franchise. Let J.J. Abrams do his own stuff. He can do his own stuff and fuck that up. But don't bring him into big franchises like Star Wars and Star Trek and DC. God, uh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this, but uh, those are my feelings about this whole situation. Let me know what you think of the potential of a black Superman uh, or this new franchise, whatever the hell it's going to be, whether it's Mexican Superman, I don't know. I mean, I, I knew the writing was on the wall. When he didn't pop up in Shazam, and they did the whole thing where you didn't see his face. That was a big sign. And I think an even bigger sign was like a couple weeks ago when they casted um, Sasha Kaye as Supergirl for the Flash movie that's not going to happen. 
and she, you know she's like the lat latina and everything and i'm like are they going they seem like they're trying to do something different different and i, I could have bought her as like Cavill's cousin or whatever but that was a sign where i'm like yeah they're, they're about to ch they're about to change something and it seems that's the way they're going hopefully it'll work out if the movie's good it's good but i'm just like i said the first movie probably will be good but that second one and the rest of the franchise, we'll see, because he's got a bad track record with that. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like this, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.